I'm Christopher Sabella. I'm a comics writer. I was a, a latchkey kid, so my mom would work until the evening. I would come home and like I had free reign, so like I would just consume like whatever horror movies were on uh, TV or like go to the video store who they didn't really seem to care about renting, you know, a uh, nine, like a 10 year old, like here's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like have fun with that. I don't know if I can point to one specific sort of influence. I feel like I've just been like gathering all these horrible images in my head all my life and like looking for, for avenues where I can expel it. I think the thing about comics that really drew me to writing them was that with like novels and prose, you could sit in a room and write for a year and nobody will ever see your stuff. But with comics, like you have to get a book out every month and like, and you get instant feedback. So if somebody thinks your stuff sucks, they will tell you that. Or if they think it's good, they'll tell you that. And that's a really good like motivator. Demonic is a bloody, bloody horror book about uh, a New York City cop who has a demon living inside him and he has to figure out how to survive and keep his family alive while trying to keep this thing inside him from killing everybody in the city of New York. There's a lot of blood and guts, but there's also a lot of uh, sort of mental horror. The whole book kind of lives in a weird gray area where, you know, um, our main character is both a horrible monster and like a really stand-up dude. You know, he's a New York City cop, so he's trying to enforce the law on one side and then on the other side trying to wrangle with this slaughterhouse that lives inside of him. Everybody is kind of corrupt in this book to some degree or another, and it's just sort of a matter of like, once you're kind of corrupted, like, do you just dive right in and sink to the bottom or do you, you know, try and tread water as long as you can until somebody pulls you out of the hole. A big influence on me was stuff like Breaking Bad as far as like trying to present a, a picture of like monsters both literal and figurative. And it also seemed like really intimidating, like how do I make this work? Like how do you do something like this that isn't, you know, um, something that everybody has seen before. I always like stuff that really challenges me that I, that I kind of half think like, I don't know if I can actually do this. Like, and that's the stuff I really like the most is figuring out and actually accomplishing it. Robert had originally written the first issue and they asked me to come in and, and build it out into a six issue miniseries. It was a really intense uh, process of back and forth and sort of figuring out exactly the kind of story we want to tell. Skybound is very, like, it's a big company, but it feels very small and intimate. So like the team feels a lot tighter and you know, they, they want you to be as invested as possible. And also, you know, Skybound was sort of the first company that really, when I put my first book out, my first solo book out, like Skybound reached out to me and like really liked it and wanted to work with me. And that when you're a writer who's just starting out and nobody knows or cares who you are, like that's a huge boost to like, realize like, oh, this amazing company like wants to work with me. Like just that vote of confidence can really carry you a long way. So I'm super grateful to them for like thinking that I had something to offer. Um, and I'm just trying to like live up to whatever faith they have in me. So thank you for watching and I forgot the rest. Please subscribe to Skype. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, this is Christopher Sabella. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Skybound.